Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to 60 Seconds. So, <laughs> let's see how Ted and his family fare in this episode of 60 Seconds. So we're going to have 60 seconds to gather as much as we can, including family members, some of which are optional. But uh, we're going to do Apocalypse Mode, and we're going to do the Easy Mode because... Well, I played normal mode and I kept dying and uh, never survived. And I've played easy mode and I keep dying and I never survive. So, obviously, easy is not so easy for me. So, we'll begin our adventure into the uh, apocalypse. Soup! Alright, here we go. So, oh, I see a gas mask. What else can I grab? Okay, um, I really want the radio. It's, they're saying take a map, it looks like. So, I'm going to make sure we do that. Um, I think I'll just grab my people and get that out of the way real quick here. I just want to grab that. Oh, and the, you know what? That survival manual, the uh, Boy Scout book, is actually really helpful. So I see the radio over there, too. Let's grab her. Let's grab the, that. Let's dump that. Let's grab Timmy. And come on, Timmy. Let's go. Enough coloring. Get that. <laughs> oh, I'm outside of the lines now. No, get, get to the shelter. Okay. So we got that. Let's grab the radio. Oh, bug spray, I guess. Soup, soup, maybe, maybe soup. Okay, so we got enough soup. Let's forget about that. Let's mark that one off our list. Uh, deck of playing cards. Okay, we we'll probably need some water here sometime too. Okay, we'll grab that and some water. Okay, I'm gonna get that gas mask next. We need to find ourselves a uh, first aid kit or something. There's a first aid kit. Some water. That's some more water. Oh, I can't grab the water. What are you? Are you kidding? Oh yeah, first aid kit takes it too. Okay. Okay, we gotta find. We gotta find the. Uh, uh, I should have grabbed the axe. I'm not gonna make it in time, am I? Oh, just barely. Well, we're gonna have to scavenge for some items. That was not the best loot run. I didn't get the map. Ugh, I'm not liking my chances. Sort of went crazy with the soup. Well, we got the radio. We got the guest mask. We got cards and checkerboard. Gosh, no, no way to defend our shelter other than send up Mary Jane to go deal with the uh, nasty uh, solicitors that tend to come to our shelter door. Day one, all of us made it to the shelter just seconds before the blast. It was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. I remember hearing that too, and that's why I grabbed like a thousand cans of it. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. I thought I grabbed like two or three of them. We uh, have to ration it uh, strictly. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but this, I'm sure this one has a good amount of supplies. Good deal. All right. That's wrong, though. That's If that's supposed to be Mary Jane, it's supposed to be a tube, but not a sex, saxophone. Okay. Yeah, three cans of water. Three bottles of water. Three cans of soup. Day one, you all are on the hunger strike. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never this intense. It's a fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other, unless this hope won't last too long. Roger that. Dolores has given some evil eyes to some people. It's like, not impressed. This is the, uh... So anyway, I just bought a new motorcycle. <laughs> Look. <laughs> hey. So, uh, I was at the, uh, I was at the pro shop at the golf course, and I just went ahead and got that new set of clubs. Uh, that's the look you get right there. We stopped arguing with it for how long? It's impressive, actually. That's the look I get if I don't say, and I bought you an extra set of clubs, too. <laughs> My wife goes. Okay. Um, like a good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of it. Dolores is good to go. Ted is not complaining too much. Good, because he's the, uh, he's the leader. Contamination is still strong. Let's go for it. We got that gas mess. Let's do it. Besides, we need to go get some, we need to get a weapon of some kind, and we need the map. Once we have that, that yeah, won't be too bad. You would need the rifle or a map, a map, or we need we need a map, and then we need a rifle or a fire axe. Preferably a fire axe, actually, because sometimes the government wants you to go out and chop down trees. They want you to pretend like you're forester service. So okay, let's move on to day three. That is a big can of bug spray. You see that? It's like massive. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everyone's a little bit thirsty. We'll get them water tomorrow. They can go four days without water. We're going to set good old Ted out there. The patriarch. The disheveled patriarch. Day four. Uh, she's not She's not too happy with them either. 
Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yeah, everyone needs water. So let's give everybody water. Oh, yeah. Supply drops. Too bad we already let Ted take off with the gas mask. I should have waited for that. that normally, normally uh, I do wait for the supply drop message before I send anybody out. But it did say that radiation was high and you could get sick. Not, not that you were definitely going to get sick. So uh, I went ahead and went for it. Who dares wins? It's too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. Static is so relaxing. Those of you that are still here watching my video, we're on day five, and we, uh, yeah, we got green puddle of goo, a pipe's leaking, so we need to figure out how to fix it. Let's use the Boy Scout manual. I told you the thing was would come in handy. You could use it to smash bugs. You could find pictures of old, long-lost relatives in it. You can fix pipes with it. You can, um... There's like a couple other uses too, but it actually does come in really handy. So hi, problem solved. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we fixed the pipe. Leaky radioactive pipe. Mental health is just important as physical health. That's why we have our our games here. Um, yeah. No more. Uh, no more PC gaming. <laughs> so that's the one thing that would be the, the biggest uh, bummer of uh, apocalypse. Not being able to do these videos. Huh, okay. All right, day six. Might be safe inside these walls, but there's other problems to consider. Everyone's being sleep deprived, so let's go ahead and pop open that medicine kit, kit and get everybody uh, some sleeping pills. Day seven. All right, so we've exhausted our uh, medicine kit. At least we can make medicine out of the uh, deadly bug spray. Yes, you can. If the option presents itself, we will. All right, uh, everyone's kind of getting hungry, a little thirsty, so. Let's go ahead and uh, day seven. Let's wait one more day. All right. Yeah, we really missed the life we had. We want food, blah, blah, blah. Cake, cake, cake. That's all we think about. All right. So everyone's about to die here if I don't give them food and water. All right. Uh, who knows? Maybe the world will offer new opportunities, and it won't be that bad. So everyone's hungry. Yeah, she's fainting. Timmy's very hungry. He's in terrible shape. He needs water now. Now. With the... Uh, capitalized for emphasis. Dolores has not eaten for a while and she won't survive without water. So rather than kill my entire family, I'm just going to go ahead and give them some rations. Full rations. All right, so we can keep sitting on the backside in this tiny little shelter where we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who'd have thought the Reds would ruin such a le lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. And by that, I mean just ears, because we're not going to stick our head up there, and we don't have a periscope, so we'll just turn on the radio and listen. I see what the government tells us to do. It wasn't like the government got us into this mess to begin with, with their horrible foreign policy decisions. All right. Who, I knew it. Or we knew it. The government has not fallen. They're coming to save us. They didn't exact, give exact dates on the radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. Yeah. BMV anybody? They said they would be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait for their instructions. So everyone's a little bit peckish, but we're gonna let them uh, just uh, sit and think about stuff. So we got a trickling sound. We got a little bit of water seeping through. I'm um, kind of glad we didn't grab the map now because we'd be losing it. Because we're definitely saving the radio no matter what. We're gonna lose those deck that deck of playing cards because there's no way we could just like shuffle them all up together and put them on the top shelf above the uh, above the water there. No, that would be too much. Okay. Oh, we brought back a map. Look at that. All right. So that worked out good. And he did not destroy the gas mask completely. He looks a little... I don't know. I don't remember Ted. Does he have pink eye? Kind of looks like he's got pink eye. Also looks like he's a little got a little <laughs> Rudolphitis. And um, he looks a little green. Hang on. Maybe my, maybe my video card is going bad. You guys need to... Donate to the uh, tip jar so I can get a new one because uh, I think my colors are off. Uh, couldn't be that he's sick. Okay, so we lost the cards during the flood. Um, the great flood of uh, 2015. Alright, so uh, Ted has safely returned his voyage from his voyage to the surface. Local school is a big building a mile away from our house. Nobody liked that place. Atomic Blast didn't change that now. Without windows and a few walls remaining... It looks even more unpleasant. Pleasant or not, it seemed like a good spot to hunt for some useful supplies. Everybody adored the lunch lady. Sloppy Joes, I'll make them extra sloppy for you. 
she was almost 80 and everything that's perfect and everything she touched man if you don't know that reference you don't know jerky boys either she touched uh tasted great and smelled of tomato now we know her secret tomato soup cans plus one soup for soup the biology class at an aquarium the fish had died since no one fed them but the aquarium water could still be drinkable really so the fish you got water with dead fish in it and you're thinking hey plus two bottles of water all right the PE teacher was a World War II veteran. He kept some of his war trophies and memorabilia in his office. This included grenades, bazookas, and a functional gas mask. So apparently, he somehow destroyed our original gas mask and came back with one. So we're not plus two gas masks. We're just, we broke even. Our geography classroom was very poorly equipped. And man, he did really good, didn't he, on this mission? Only, sorry, sorry, we used all our meds because we couldn't, we couldn't quite get into a deep enough REM sleep. Sorry, Dad. The only useful item we could find was a map of our town. Still better than nothing. Plus one for a map. Alright, so Mary Jane's good to go. She feels very comfortable in a coffin. No news is good news. There's nothing going on with Timmy. Life is hard on all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. It's because her husband's a freaking winner in the game of life. Are you kidding me? Look at what all the loot he brought back. She freaking married Blackbeard. Ted is hungry. He became infected with something. Ted is really tired. Okay, so... He's hungry. Is he thirsty? No. Well, how do you... Where do you get... Did, okay, it doesn't say that he needs anything to drink. I thought maybe that was spilled over from the last page, but let's just give him something to eat at least. My gosh. No, not all of you. You, you guys don't deserve it all. Okay, wait, give, me, give me that soup can back. Greedy little girl. Alright, uh, wish I could help you out with that. Maybe we can make some medicine out of poison here shortly. Um, Let's do it. I love this. How about the trip to Nevada? We've been postponing a while. Maybe we should go out there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. All right, yeah, a wasteland to wasteland. All right. I think my first stop would be like Anwar. <laughs> Day eleven. Can we do anything with this poison? Rel relocation is probably something we'll be able to discover after we get out of here. Uh, so something to drink. I think day twelve we're going to go ahead and give uh, everybody something to drink here. Um, it looks like I'm going to give. Actually, I'm just going to give everybody water now. So we're on the same page. And is, there, is everybody hungry too? Ted's stomach's rumbling. Um, he missed a ration. Oh, oops. He missed a ration, so we're going to hook him up. I think we're good now. We're all caught up. Who needs to go outside? Um, Super Scavenger Mary Jane, of course. Carry over from my prior episode of this. She seems to do pretty good for me. Besides, it's, if, the, if the spider's attacked, it just freaks me out what happens to her. So, <laughs> we're not going to take any risks. If she goes if she goes full-on mutant, man, she's doing it on the surface. She's not doing it down here where we're all safe and stuff. All right, we already got glowing cockroaches and whatnot. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Well, we will have glowing cockroaches, probably. Timmy should eat something. Dolores would love to eat something. Ted is hungry. Mm, okay, everybody's hungry. All right, didn't I just give everybody everything? Okay, well, they're going to have to just suck it. Hey, here we go. We need medical supplies, and what we have is a bad joke. Time to do something about it, because we used up... Yeah, of course, taking sleeping, sleeping pills required us to deplete our bandage supply and whatever that was. And looks like peroxide or something like that. Uh, or iodine or something. Time to do something about it. That bug spray is just standing there. Why don't we use it to make drugs? This is an amazing idea. Let's do it. We got that Boy Scout book to smash the bugs with. We don't need drugs. We don't need the poison also. So there we go. Med okay, let's let's hook Ted up since he did such an amazing job for us. All right, so what do you know? Combining American innovation and deadly bug spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish an empty first aid kit. And the best part is the FDA no longer exists to stop us from doing it. We'll worry about. We're gonna market this stuff. We'll worry about the side effects later. Timmy should eat something. Dolores has not eaten for a while. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. He's still sick as a dog. Not for much longer though. Okay, here we go. We've discussed everything. We could, and no one is willing to chat anymore. Silence is really disturbing. We should do something before we talk ourselves in. T talk to ourselves instead. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Turn on that radio. Can't believe they go days and days without thinking. Maybe we should just turn on the radio. All right. So Ted's looking better. He's thirsty, hungry, tired. She's thirsty, hungry. He's thirsty, hungry. All right. So Ted's just tired on top of everything else. Tired of being looked at like that. It wears on you. Ah, 
Uh, sorry, all that talk about being thirsty made me thirsty. I had to get a little drink, a little sippy sip in real life. Ah, uh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Yeah, of course they do. It's freaking uh, <laughs> Russian music. It's the uh, Death March from Command and Conquer. Timmy is very hungry. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores would really love to eat something. There has got to be some water left or something like that. So, everybody's thirsty and hungry. Let's hook him up. And he's recovered from a sickness. Rock on, Ted. There we go. Where's Mary Jane? Timmy is not doing great. It'd be good to talk to him. Yeah, go for it. Everybody's in good shape. Nobody's crazy, so... That's fine. Go for it. Talk to Timmy. Hey, she's back. She didn't look so good. Oh, she brought an axe with her. Oh, you're awesome. Oh, we need a flashlight, too. I forgot to grab a flashlight. Overall, not too bad. She's not looking too good. Um... Oh, she must have grabbed a med kit, because I was like, well, we used the med kit on him, so we don't have it, but nope, she brought a med kit, so we can use that on her. Hey, it's not too bad. We're actually doing pretty decent. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Feel better. That's exactly what they said to him. That was it. Okay. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Actually, yeah, something did make you happier. The sight of Mary Jane returning with an axe and a freaking medical kit. Doi and oh, two soups and two waters. Where'd she get the water from? Uh, toilet water where someone had died. A food drop. That's what we needed. What did they drop in this time? Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate. Nope. Tomato soup cans. Hooray! I think it's sar. I think that's a sarcastic hooray. Mm, uh, I'm suspicious about that one. Someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to soften the fall. As that, they always forget that man. It's like, dude, freaking peanuts, man. Put those little peanuts in there. They don't cost that much. As a result, most of the water bottles were shattered. Luckily, because they're actually made of glass. Luckily, a few of them survived. That should be enough of us to keep us going for a bit. Plus two for the water. Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit filled with some high-quality drugs rather than poison. We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was something we eagerly were eager, eagerly awaiting, along with Hooked on Phonics. We didn't, just didn't expect a medical container to fall on another scavenger's head. That was pretty traumatic. It would, we might need some drugs to cope with the memory. No, we don't need drugs to cope with, to actually treat the guy whose head it fell on. No, we're going to use those drugs instead to, to uh, self-medicate. We think a box we found was intended for a colony of lumberjacks. It was full of axes. We took one. One? You got freaking four people here. Oh, jeez. I don't think they understand how this apocalypse thing kind of works. Mary Jane's quite hungry. Mary Jane contracted an illness. Mary Jane's really tired. Timmy should eat something until Dolores is not eating for a while. Ted is good to go. We're fine. Okay. Let's get her feeling better. She did really good. I'm proud of my two uh, scavengers so far. So, um, I think what we'll do here is we'll just hang out here and skip... Skip this uh, next one until the uh, radiation... Well, how much How much stuff do we have here? 3.754. Yeah, we'll skip this one until the uh, radiation is, is down. Because we really can't keep getting people sick like this. We've pretty much used up all of our... Oh, here we go. We received another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location and area. Then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. Problem is they provided us with geographical coordinates. But we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. That's the first... Yes. I love it when they use new words like that in games. Just, what's the last game you, you saw gobbledygook in? But you can't name it. So, okay. Hey, why does everyone look so... Why Was she sweeping chimneys or something up there? Okay. Quick glance at the map gave us all the information required. Uh, we left them a message in a bottle. What were we? Are we on a deserted, deserted island or something? Let me... This is, no. <laughs> it looks like a typical suburb. Okay. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. She's thirsty, and she's feeling better now. Like the good scout, Timmy is making the best out of his situation. He's even he's cheerful. Okay. Uh, today's relatively calm for Dolores. Already been calm enough for today. So, Mary Jane needs something to drink, something to eat. Uh, we're going to wait on that. Doesn't sound too desperate. Everyone else seems pretty good. So, everyone else is just going to wait. It's still pretty strong. We're going to wait. 
she needs to regain her strength, and Ted is not in a good state, apparently. What's wrong with Ted? Oh, he's tired. Is she tired? Yeah, they're both tired. All right. Yeah, because if my family was desperate for supplies, I tell you what, if I was tired, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. Or neighbor yeah, a little stroll around the neighborhood. <laughs> the neighborhood is probably much more peaceful during since the bombings. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. It's a lot more quiet, I'll tell you that much. Day 17. Alright. We can take care of ourselves. Okay, she's, she's she needs something to drink. He needs something to drink, he needs something to drink, he needs something to drink. So, let's get her something to eat and then we'll give everybody water. She will surely die if she goes out there. That doesn't sound good. Still irradiated. Uh, it's unsafe. You're going to get sick, basically, is what they're saying. So, we're going to wait. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So, how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Or the bombed new world? Why is it so brave? I'm pretty sure that most people out there aren't necessarily being brave. They're probably being freaking scared crapless. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement. And guess what? Great news! The fall outside is mostly gone. Awesome. Now we can start doing some trips. Should be much safer to travel on the surface now. So she needs a little something to eat. He needs something to eat. Something to eat. Something to eat. See? Except for Ted. He's good to go. Must be living off some fat reserves there. Okay, so we're going to wait on food. Let's send Dolores out. Yeah, I normally don't send her out, So, but we'll do. We'll do Dolores, I think. I don't know. Timmy might be good. He just looks like a little weasel, like one of those guys that's just weasel in any little area and come back with something worthwhile. I don't know. We'll think about it. We're sure we looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something we... All of us missed. A seed, a plant seed. We should plant it and see what happens, but we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? No. I've had that backfire. We only have 2.75. That would leave us with like less than two bottles of water. Don't think so. And our food supply is decent, so. And it can attack you. <laughs> the plant you grow, it can turn into like freaking little shops of horror type thing situation going on downstairs. And it's, it's In this case, it would be like a little, a very little, little shops of horror because even smaller. It's an even more confined space. Alright, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to waste water. Day 19. Let's do this. There are plenty of better ways to use our water. That is right. Drinking comes to mind. Yes. Mary Jane will have to think of another way to occupy herself. Just pee on it. I mean... I wonder if that would work. Because you got nitrogen. But doesn't it... Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Since Mary Jane took... Harder than we thought. She was really emotionally invested in growing that plant. Get over it, girl. She's hungry, hungry, hungry. Ted's doing good. He's like just a trooper, isn't he? Okay. Okay, who's going to go outside? Dolores, you're going to do it. Stop giving those uh, very unimpressed looks towards everybody. All right, let's take a quick look. In times of crisis, communication keys for viral. Get a radio. I already got one. All right, so quite hungry, spare water. Very hungry, it's not looking well. She's on the surface, she's really thirsty. Yeah, I think we'll give everybody here food and drink. While the, while the cat's away, the mice will play. So let's eat and drink, be merry. We decided to have some fun today, see? Play a game or two. First one was picking the game we were going to play. This took us most of the day. We still haven't made up our minds, it's okay. Why do I feel like I'm talking like Obama suddenly? So okay, let me be clear. You can play into the night. Nobody has to wake up for work tomorrow. Okay. That was probably the worst Obama impression ever. I'm white. Okay, day 21. We played I Spy and it was pretty for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Hmm. Mary Jane said I could use a little food. She's pretty fatigued. Timmy's very hungry. I just gave you guys food and drink. Even though the world's gone to sh sh crappy place. <laughs> Alright. We're just going to sit tight here. Alarm! A group of people outside. See? That's why you need more than one axe. She could have like three axes. You could kill You could kill that one person three times as fast. 
All right, we recognize some of them. They used to be our neighborhood watch. They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore. They are very serious about angrily waving their heavy flashlights. Oh, we need a flashlight. Go out there, do a little choppy choppy, and grab a freaking mag light while you're at it. We need to do <laughs> bonus points for D cell batteries. We need to do something before they break in and take everything we have. Freaking chop, chop their heads off. We don't start fights, we finish them. Yo. Okay, day 22. Some axe action. I like that. It was enough to send those cowards running on one leg. Bet your ass they'll be back. Vermin like that are never gone long. They crawl out the shadows when the night comes. Let's keep our axe sharp. And name it Otis. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food, despite dire circumstances they are. And all the trouble they are going through, Timmy is being very brave. New problems are troubling Ted. No new problems are troubling Ted this five morning. That's good, because he was good to go yesterday, so he has no problems. Um, little food. Yeah, we're good. Let's wait. Received another army transmission this morning. Ah, yes, we got to go play Lumberjack. We wish it would mark the end of our stay in a shelter, but it seems the military has other plans. All survivors in the area are asked to head to nearby park and chop down as many trees as possible. To aid all those trees that we freaking planted ten years ago. Dang it! Freaking Earth Day. Coming back to bite our asses. To aid in the evacuation effort, whatever that means, we may as well join in and speed up this whole affair. Go out there. It's a trap. <laughs> Someone just wants to get all the axes in town. It's the neighborhood watch. 23. Dolores back? Oh, she did not look good. She brought back a medical kit, though. Look at it. And look at the soup she brought back. What else did she bring? Is that it? Oh, she brought back some cards. We lost those cards, remember? Oh, oh okay. We lost the axe when we chopped down a tree. I thought she had lost it or something. We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it would make a difference. They wanted the next time they get in touch, we better be better be from a tank parked on our lawn or what's left of it. Um, our only regret is that the wood chopping business ruined our axe. How does chopping one day's worth of wood ruin your axe? Oh my gosh. <sighs> axe by acne, I guess. We're glad to see Dol Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We spotted an under group of people scavenging our neighborhood. They had a lot of bags and backpacks. Too many even. They were really busy and didn't even notice when one of their backpacks went missing. With a little help from us, Dolores. Oh, lucky find. There were some cans inside. Oh, it's soup. Plus one soup. The bottom of the backpack, underneath a dozen or so pieces of women's underwear. See, she went for the backpack with all the women's underwear. Ugh. Dolores. Silly, silly. We found a first aid kit. Plus one. The outer po pocket of the backpack contained a deck of cards. Better than nothing. All right, there we go. Plus one for the deck of cards. So Mary Jane's uh, thirsty and a little hungry. He's a little thirsty. Loved to eat. Came down with the sickness. She got down with the sickness. Get up and get down with the sickness, Dolores. He's really tired. He needs to drink something soon. We'll go one more day and then we'll hook everybody up with full rations. Oh, we'll go ahead and, go ahead and get her feeling better, though. Uh, could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. We're going to hold. Hold with what Mary Jane's injured on the last expedition. She didn't mention it to us, but we didn't notice. It wasn't our problem until just now. Seems her injury got infected and she's in bad shape. We must help her. Oh, well, Dolores is now. Can I undo that? We, this will, like, kill her eventually. So she's going to have to try to recover on her own. We need to get this injury taken care of. Chopping her arm off is like obviously the best option, though. That's like option one. This is like our plan B backup option. I like whenever I do, whenever I do options or plans, I like to mix my numbers and letters. I like my uh, I like my planning to be unpredictable. Okay. So the Lord is you're not giving me those eyes. That, wait, are you? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if she's unimpressed with us or if she's just unimpressed with how she's feeling. So, yeah, makes me feel better about about being being around her. I like the bandage, some pills, a little of this, a little of that. We're going to patch Mary Jane in no time. We use most of our med kit in the process, but the important thing is she's going to get better. So she's hungry. She keeps fainting. Yeah, he needs some water. Dolores is not eating for a while. She needs a drink. <laughs> Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink right now. Ted is rested. All right, so full rashes for everybody. And we're going to send somebody out. It's awful quiet outside. Good. This is like the best message I think you can get. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't know until we go out. Um, 
Timmy hasn't been out, has he? I think Timmy needs to go out. It's his turn. All right, pour on the old ginger charm. What will we give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again? We can't say there's a lot of light underground. Hmm, funny how that works. We don't, we don't expect it to get any brighter down here. Your bomb shelter doesn't have skylights? What the heck? All right, Timmy. Now you need to go find your mommy a medi kit. Yeah, we could probably use a water, actually. So, go get him. We can take care of ourselves. Mary Jane's arrested. Timmy might not look like him. He's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Uh, Dolores has Eve for a while. She's pretty. Everybody got full rations. Though. I don't want to hear it, really, honestly. Timmy, go get him, son. All right. Come on. Turn something. Let's let's turn on the radio. Turn on something decent. What does it say? Poor diet and bad health or injuries decrease chances of survival. Really? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Nye, the science guy. All right, Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud to me. What else? To the wasteland? We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores hasn't eaten for a while. He's not complaining today, so. How's... Wait, let me see how Mary Jane isn't worried. Okay, she's... Everybody's pretty good. Pretty good. I decided to peek outside for just a minute. See if there's a store around the corner. It was standing... Where it was, was still standing. We were about to step out. We heard a growl in the darkness. A pair of fresh eyes appeared feet, feet away. It's Pancake! We only had moments to decide what to do. <laughs> we have no options. Okay. Pancake's the dog. It's a dog. Just so you know. It's not a wolf. It's not the long dark. I'm not stepping out of the camp office. Okay. In other circumstances, we might have risked battling the beast in the darkness, but for some reason we felt that was not our liking. So we screamed and screamed with terror. The creature was probably more afraid of us than we were of it. It left in a hurry. Uh, Mary Jane's thirsty. Thirsty and hungry. And yeah, everybody can wait, though. So easy to escalate silly arguments in close quarters doesn't help. We were chatting and then suddenly we were fighting and fighting. And let's just hope we'll get over this soon. Uh, who drew this? That's my main concern. This looks like a big person killing a little person. I I think she's the littlest person by BMI in here, maybe? Or this, ah, uh, this might not be a little person. Could We could be dealing with sort of like uh, someone who's actually drawing stick figures and they're thinking about, you know, vanishing point and uh, this person's actually in the back background a little bit, whereas this person's more in the foreground. Oh, wait, that's a penis. So, Ted? <laughs> We know what you're up to. Luckily, we brew in our axe. All right. I just noticed that. And obviously, he's, he thinks highly of himself. So, yeah. typical guy, right? Right, ladies? Enough arguing. There are more important things to worry about. Mary Jane keeps fighting. We really do need to find her something to drink fast, Dolores. We really love to eat something, Dolores. We'll survive a lot. Got one foot in the grave needs to drink right now. So, everyone needs something to drink. Something to eat. Let's do it. Hopefully, uh... Oh! We have a working radio, why not use it? Oh, hey! Yeah. No doy. Alright, Timmy's back. How sick is he? Oh, he's not sick! We still have our gas mask, and he didn't bring any water! Mm, horrible job, Timmy! I hope, I'm not going to give you any water. If you don't bring your own water... Pfft. Once we had waited through... What, did he bring a rifle or anything? What the heck did he bring us? Did he bring us anything? Gosh, freaking ginger. All right, that was hosted by some nut talking about conspiracy. It's also run for Mars abducting people. It was pretty amusing. We were so free for Timmy, but he came back to the wasteland and safe with us now. Now he's just another mouth to feed who didn't bring anything to the table. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must must have been followed by strangers. Oh, good job, Timmy. You should be more cautious next time. Good job, Timmy. I can see your red hair from a mile away. If you're desperate enough or have peculiar dietary, let's say, hey. I can make fun of his red hair because I don't have any hair. So, I'm just, I'm follicle, how would you say, um, uh, insecure or challenged or jealous anyway. So, I hate everybody with follicles. Okay. Garbage collection was supposed to be happening around this time, but trucks never came. We never thought about, we would say that, but we aren't complaining. Okay. 
One of our pre-blast neighbors threw out a few unopened cans of soup. Great, so we got more soup. Jokes on him, if he's in a shelter right now, he's probably full of regrets. Yeah, we got tons of water, though. With a lawn like that, who wouldn't be? So we got plus one soup. Oh, the irony, maybe a paradox, maybe neither. A gas mask was lying in a pile of stinky garbage. It doesn't bother a gas mask, because it can handle it. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy should eat something. Timmy's really tired. Lord's in the for a while. We need to get somebody out there now for... Oh, she's still sick. For some water. Okay, so we're going to send out Super Scavenger, Mary Jane. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military radio that wants to send one person out to meet him. Sounds like some kind of precaution or trick. We know what we were getting into. Who should we send? Oh, we're sending Ted because of that picture he drew. If anybody's going to go out there and die, it's going to be him. We're sending our psychopath out. Day 30. Okay, he came back. He's looking pretty peaked. We made it to the meeting. A serious looking soldier asked a few questions, made some notes, and told us that they would get back to us. We can only hope it made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. Ted safe, safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble. Tim's very hungry. Unfortunately, we had to go an extra day. We need to go get water right now. Uh, Dolores' health hadn't, has not improved. Alright. Let's get Ted up there. I'm not certain about the situation. He's vigorous enough. Mary Jane could use some rest, but she might manage. We're going to send Ted. Basically, so full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming that he was willing to trade offer a lot for a decent ammunition. So, well, we don't have ammunition. I, I, from my past experiences, if you offer this, he'll look at you like you're crazy and just take your freaking checkerboard. Like, and not give you anything in return. So, I'm not going to do that. I imagine that there's a chance where he's like, dude, checkers, that's even what? I needed that even more than ammo. Um, how about if I give you, like, an, an entire case of water? And I'd be like, sweet, dude. But. I'm not willing to take that chance. Day 31. Been here a full month. We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but that was none of our business. If ever was time to get used to life being disappointed, and the world was probably it. Okay, guys, so everyone's talking about <sighs> great water. Okay, Timmy's going to get water. Because he's he needs it now, or he's gonna die. Um, send him out. I think we're gonna lose most of the family though, except for maybe Timmy. Should have gave it to Dolores probably. Okay, I think they're gonna die. I think we're gonna lose some people here before he gets back. That would suck. Because we made really good progress with the military. All right. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Yeah, he's, she's dead. We're leaving the kids here, and I don't. I, don't, I think they'll abandon. I think they'll be in the shelter. I don't think Timmy just sticks around. Can I just drink the soup? Like, well, let's give everybody soup. See if that satiates some. Uh, surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hoping the blow's over soon. Life will be back to what it used to be. She's dead. She's going to be like a pile of bones when we come back. A freaking apron with bones inside. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. No, she's still here. What? They lied to us. They said she wouldn't last any longer. She must have been drinking the soup. Ah, uh, she keeps fainting. Mary Jane does. She needs something to drink fast. Timmy's very hungry and f fell sick. Give everybody food, I guess. I don't know. Okay. She's so dead. She's so dead. Dolores is so dead. So dead. 34. Yep. Yep. Oh, and my son has gone freaking insane. He's thirsty, hungry, sick, crazy, tired, and fatigued. It's a freaking royal flush of... Uh, Apocalypse uh, peril. Okay. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. The horse died to dehydration last night. Oh. Oh. Too bad we didn't spare some of that water from that flood. It took our uh, cards and our map. Mary, Mary J found out she wasn't getting a single drop of water. She was furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this, that she wasn't getting her one water one way or another. We're seriously terrified right now. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. Oh, that's a funny statement given my lone survivor. Get a grip on reality ahead of us? Mm, okay. We should eat something. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Timmy was driven crazy. Okay. Well. Let's just leave Timmy the way he is. I don't know. Someone very serious about banging on the hatch. I'm scared to open it. it. Might be some good news. But hell, man, it could be water. Gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor, Ned. Oh, Ned and Ted. That's cute. 
Uh, we're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be that reason. Shall we open? Heck yeah! We invite him down here and then drink his blood. He might do it. He's crazy. Day 35, we survived! Hey, crazy work. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Yeah! Oh, I'm not going to be able to share it with her or Mary Jane. Crazy Timmy. Crazy Timmy is holding down the fort. A group of travelers wearing gas masks carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water before they could thank him. They turned away and left. Dude, they are awesome. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Hey, man. Hook him up. Hook the boy up. Okay, hear that noise? Something come from below. It's probably right time to check out the manhole in the corner. The one seems locked. The one that has been locked tight ever since we got into the shelter. Who puts a manhole in a shelter? All right. Day 36. Come on, son. Well, he's hungry, sick, crazy, tired, fatigued, but he's not thirsty. All right. Going into tight, dark tunnels is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They're giving us creeps, even up here. See, I think Timmy's just hallucinating, and the manhole cover's really not there anyway. Timmy's very hungry. Well, let's give us a little bit more food. I know that it takes several days for food to take effect, so we're just hooking them up. Situation on our hands. There's a group approaching shelter, and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not all. They look like they're out for blood, or cans, or probably cans. This is <laughs> like the can you're wearing on your head. Oh, man. William, tell that thing right off of you. This is a ter terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway... Well, he did tear the teddy's head off, so he's kind of already is a monster. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Mm, we don't have any chance. We don't have any options. No options. That's it. That's it. Did Tim Timmy go all crazy? Oh, wow. I'm impressed with Timmy. So there's a group of raiders coming, and somehow this right here hit. Oh, Teddy took most of the damage. You see that? See that? He must have used Teddy's head like a freaking weapon. Timmy got hit when those thugs stormed in. He claims he's okay, but might be something serious. Timmy got hurt. Alright. Time to ration supplies. He's good to go. Last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fall off shoulder was a trumpet. Played by somebody who was clearly not a trumpet player. Probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend and knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Should we let them in? Um, This sounds like a really bad idea. So I'm going to say no, even though Crazy probably would love some company. Day 38, Daddy, Daddy came back. Oh, he's crazy too, shoot. Brought back a freaking sock. Oh, but he brought back a rifle. Crazy Daddy brought back a rifle. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We didn't answer those peculiar calls and get the door locked until the noise has faded away. <laughs> We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. I'm <laughs> sure. Probably thinking they probably don't, don't want to come back, given the current mental health inside this building. Uh, they sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Uh-huh, uh-huh, like Ted and Timmy. Ted has safely returned from his voyage. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious. The government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares. It can be easily seen. Most of them are barely reachable. Despite that, a lot of them were already ransacked by scavengers. How did they do that? One of the food drops broke in midair and is now raining soup. Lucky for us if you can't survive the fall. Plus two for soup. A bunch of folk were having a gunfight over several crates of drop supplies. One group emerged victorious and chased off the opponents. One of the guns from the fight was left behind. Plus one for a rifle. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Yes. And Ted's gone crazy, he's hungry, and he's tired. Okay, we'll get Ted something to eat. Timmy something to drink. Is Timmy hungry too? Or is he just... Yeah, we'll just get him something, something to drink. Yeah, well, that's that should be good. Okay. Mm, nobody's in any good condition at all. It's awful quiet outside. We'll see how if they recover a little bit. Condition is too fragile. There's no way we could send uh, Ted in his current state, so they need to mentally recover a little bit. Wouldn't it be fine, fantastic if we could just get out and leave, walk the surface like we used to, smell the fumes and pollution? Ah, that was a scent of freedom that we missed. Day 39. Everybody's still full-on crazy. 
or dead or a wall. As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Tails, stomach is rumbling. Where's water when Ted needs it? Hey, I got water. It's right here. Okay. So I'm going to keep feeding Timmy and giving them water. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Get them all set up here. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh air, toxic air, maybe scavenge for a thing or two. We can use some extra supplies. That's if we want to survive. I'm just trying to get everybody beefed up here. Day 40. Everybody's still crazy. Stop being crazy. Sick, hurt, crazy, tired, fatigued. Man, come on. I'm going to lose Timmy. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Too crazy to even write in the journal. All right. So day 43. I'll give everybody water. Ted's too weak. Send it to me out. Out of question. I'm going to still prepare just in case. One of the cupboard shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled out to give it a new home in the process of discovering a secret door. Where does it lead? No, I have no idea. So let's find out. Yeah, let's go in with a rifle. Day 41. What's the first thing? All right, plus two water. That's awesome. Open the door, leave the police. You don't know? Open fire. Bam, bam. Our bullet struck the wall, and guess what? We hit a water pipe. We were able to fill it with a few water bottles. We thought, see what I mean? That when I said about the flood last time, they should have filled up some bottles. There you go. With all the water that trickled from the bullet holes. It's brilliant. Timmy really outdid himself today. In a frenzy, he tore all, out all the pages from his beloved scout handbook. Oh, yeah, it's gone now. And transformed in dozens of play paper planes. That's not so crazy. You know, if they were paper submarines, that would be just freaking crazy. Flying all over the place, and I thought we tried to catch as many as we could. Really wasn't that many. Couldn't you just get the planes and then just... Oh, okay. I, didn't, I need to read, like, half a sentence more. I was going to say, couldn't you just, like, undo them and then have the pages by themselves? Uh, most of them landed in soup stains and in the bucket. <laughs> Capital. We've named it the bucket. Unfortunately, the pages managed to rescue weren't of much use to us. The table of contents. And a chapter listed in 100 ways to properly take care of a scout uniform. It would have been funnier if it said 100 ways to take, properly take care of a scout handbook. It's high time we did something about Timmy's injuries. Ted tries to hide it, but he's obviously had a lot of issues. He often has lengthy conversations with his sock puppet. Alright. Let's keep going here. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Really? Like who? Who's keener? Alright. Come on. Uncrazy somebody. <laughs> Somebody get uncrazy. I really need a psychiatrist to come to the door. Do you prefer apple juice right now? We should give him some water. He's hungry and water. Yeah, okay. They'll just gonna, they're just going to have to wait. Talk quiet outside. We'll prep and see if we can maybe get one out. Uh, we initially thought it was thunder. Turned out to be a heavy knocking at the way. We got a rifle. Someone either hates that door or is very determined to have an answer. So we open it over. Yeah, go for it. We're crazy. We got a rifle. We're crazy. Oh, the end? Are you kidding me? What? How did the crazy guy with the rifle not beat the non-crazy? Oh, I figured we were much more of a threat. Couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. So he left. All that remains of him is a note explaining that we were lousy parents. He, oh, so he got really lucid all of a sudden. <laughs> nice. He would be back when he becomes the warlord of the wasteland, and then he became insane again. Lucid to insane again. We waited long enough for this moment. Words can't express how, how we felt when we saw the soldiers enter our humble shelter. We're safe, finally safe. Oh! What will tomorrow bring? We don't know, but sure going to be better than this. We spent 43 days in our shelter. Who survived? Just Ted? Yeah, basically, it's me, because I controlled Ted at the start from the third person perspective. So, Rescued by the military. I survived by family. My kids are going to, you know, whatever. You know, it's a hard knocks life. Okay. Sweet. I'm going to have to try normal mode. I survived. Yeah, we survived. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Soup. And, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. That was a fun one. We had we faced all the different gamuts of the of the game: hunger, uh, dehydration, insanity, injury, 
rescue pretty good so like comment subscribe hit that tip jar and i'll see you in the next episode of 60 seconds